Are y'all getting the volume that I'm getting here? Hey my babies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Adora Christiana. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I'm super excited to try out a new wash and go combination. The products that I'm gonna be using are new products. So not only are they new to me, but they are new to our natural hair shelves in our local stores, okay? I did pick up this right here. It's the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Curling Cream. In addition, I got the gel that goes with it. If you did watch my recent restock haul, I did show you guys that this was one of my pickups and that I'm really excited to see how they're going to pair up. I'm hoping this gel obviously gives me some definition and that the curling cream gives me some moisture definition as well. And hopefully as a pair, they just help my hair last and keep the style. Without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, we're gonna start off by oiling my scalp. Per usual, you guys, this is such an important step in my routine. After I'm done giving a nice massage, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle to create halves, and then I'm gonna start on the left side, breaking that into another half, and starting on the first quadrant in the back. I did end up breaking that in half. You know, this is the care. We gotta work one step at a time. Like I said, I am using this Cantu Curling Cream and the gel that goes with it. Now I'm gonna wet my hair down, saturate it, work that water in, and finger detangle prior to me adding the curling cream like I am right now. Now I'm gonna add the gel on top, and it felt really good going on, you guys. It was gliding through my fingers, but I had to add some more. I was determined for this wash and go to come out good, so I said, you know what, I'm adding as much product as I feel need be. I was a little bit more thorough with my finger detangling with this style because if you didn't notice, I did not pull out a leave-in conditioner. So this curling cream was acting as my leave-in conditioner, my cream, and also my oil. I typically add oil to lock in my moisture, but I wanted to see what these products could do, you guys. So I was not disappointed, if I'm being honest. It definitely aided in getting out all those residual tangles after finger detangling it defined my curls without weighing my hair down even prior to adding the gel I was pleasantly surprised with that and the gel is so buildable guys and I did notice once I started editing that the canister for the gel says flexible hold if you ask me that sounds like an oxymoron I don't know what that is supposed to mean but after thinking about it and watching this footage, I think it really means that it is very buildable. It doesn't weigh your curls down too much, but you still get that hold. That's exactly what I got from this gel, you guys. So since I do have puffy roots, I went ahead and added some extra gel to my roots, laid it down, and this is what the first section looks like. I'm not even gonna say anything yet. Let's just move on to the front. I am continuing to break my hair off in two sections just to make sure I can distribute the product evenly and thoroughly throughout my thick, low prosody hair. Now once again, I'm adding an ample amount of curling cream to this section and it really did feel so smooth and light on my hair it got all the tangles out just from finger detangling and before i even added the gel the curls came through like i only added the gel for definition because that's what i prefer but if i was a girly who loved cream wash and goes like cream only wash and goes this yes this i would hand it over to y'all girls because it really curled my hair up and it seemed so effortless because it was so light now don't get me wrong it's not like light and watery or anything like that it has a little bit of depth to it but not anything like i typically use to get my hair defined and elongated i'm surprised i didn't hold my hand out to show you guys the consistency but if you are that curious go ahead and watch my last hygiene haul because i showed you guys the consistency right in the canister 
but you guys when i tell you this curling cream came to do what it's supposed to do like this front section of my hair right here is one of the loosest sections in my head and did you see how the little curls was coming through at the bottom after i brushed it you know i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you something now okay yo my hair gets weighed down so easily in the front that my hair curled right up as far as the shingling method you guys see me doing i resorted to more of a clumping method because my hair is frizz prone so as it dried over time i noticed it was frizzing versus staying nice and defined so i vigorously smoothed my hair into clumps versus separating my hair like you do typically when you shingle this way they could dry together and kind of hold on to each other to avoid any extra frizz rather than shingling separating them and them having more chance of frizzing so once i did the other side this is how the hair was looking this is the side that is a little more wet you know it's freshly done and then this side obviously is a little bit shrunken but now i'm just gonna go back in the front and add some gel to flatten and brush back the front of my hair because my hair in the front is a little bit longer i'm not sure why it falls or grows out the way that it does but to avoid that i like to brush my hair back and let it dry that way and i am just testing out the gel here i didn't have any high hopes for it because i typically don't for a lot of gels for my edges but i laid them down and now i'm gonna let them set underneath my set and scarf for a little bit and then i went out and ran some errands so when i came back this is how my hair had dried up so far but if you guessed it my hair is still very soaked in the front where the scarf was so of course i got my diffuser baby and i started off at the front trying to get that nice and dry and then after a while i worked my way around to the roots because this hair is super thick you guys so air tends not to get in there very easily so i got the roots all around up and down and now that my hair is completely dry i'm just gonna check out these curls see what the bounce back is like check out the definition and now i'm gonna get ready and section my hair off to prepare for stretching and once i get all my quadrants into place i will start in the one in the back and i'm gonna break that in half and start on this very first section so once i get a hold of it i am going to stretch it out as much as possible without disturbing my curls at the end and while blow drying up and down the shaft and in my root i'm gonna protect the ends by covering them with my hand and so once i do that this is the first quadrant and i'm gonna work my way to the front doing the same method making sure i'm stretching my hair holding it taut blowing it out and avoiding any heat on my ends and voila this is my hair blown out like it's so much more volume so much more movement it was so soft after i did that you guys this is definitely a staple in my wash and go process so let me just go ahead and do the other side just give me one moment all right and bam here we go it's all stretched out Ooh, it looks so fluffy i was low-key shocked y'all looking at my hair like i i had no words like ew 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 <laughs> So I am going to go ahead and lay down my edges because like I thought, the Cantu gel didn't really hold my edges up, especially in that heat. By the time I got home, like they were not laid at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and re-lay down my edges with this Style Factor Edge Booster and I have to set them into place. So I'm going to put my satin scarf back on and just let it set for a little bit, get them all juiced up. In the meantime, I went ahead and got myself dressed. And I am going to take one more step, but let me show you the back before I do. This is what it was looking like. Oh, yeah. So now I'm going to grab my pick and get those roots first and foremost. I wanted to create a nice little shape and give my hair some height, some volume. I mean, what else do we use a pick for? You know what I'm saying? So once I'm done picking, I'm going to play with it a little bit. And like I said, the front is my most long section so i am going to use these bobby pins just to create a little bit more of a shape get that hair out of my face and then of course i'm going to play with it some more and then pick it a little bit more and then once i am done judging and playing and shaping y'all have a look at what it look like
all right my babies this is how my hair is looking i packed on the product like I mean heavily and there's only a slight cast so I'm actually enjoying that because it is kind of reassuring me that my hair is going to last a few days. I am so happy that this came out in a way that I am enjoying. Minimal cast, minimal frizz, and an ample amount of definition and moisture you guys. What these products did for my hair was exactly what the packaging promised. I actually have every box checked that I wanted out of this wash and go. Do you guys see the shape? Are you getting the volume? Like, come on. Everything that I enjoy in my wash and goes is currently available. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big old like. Comment your thoughts down below. And you already know, if you want to see more from me, because I got more for you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all babies in the next one.